I'm Aurelia Richards, immigration litigation attorney here at GL Law Group. Today, I will walk you through how to prepare an immigration uh, petition package to mail to USCIS. Um, filing a petition with USCIS can be very intimidating for some people, as this is probably your only chance you're going to get to show um, a USCIS officer that you deserve your application or your petition to be approved. Um, a good petition, you know, a, a properly filed petition will make a good impression on the USCIS officer and will make your interview process so much smoother than if it were not properly prepared. So to, in today's video, I will walk you through the petition uh, process. Usually the very first step uh, in preparing an immigration petition is to gather all of the necessary documents. For example, um, to prepare an I-130 or a family-based petition, you must provide all the documents proving your familiar relationship. This can include birth certificates if the application is for a parent-child relationship or a marriage certificate if the application is for sp spousal relationship. Um, after we receive the documents from our clients, we will review them right away to make sure that the documents are exactly what we're looking for. Sometimes locating the documents um, or translating the documents could take a lot of time and cause a delay if we don't get started early. The second step is to fill out the application form and draft a petition. The time it takes to fill out a petition will depend on the type of petition. For example, an I-130 is 12 pages long, while an N-400 or a citizenship application is 20 pages long. The processing time will also depend on the form and where you file it based on your address. The third step is to print out and review the complete petition package. If everything looks good, we'll send over the documents to the clients to review and sign. And the last step is to create a shipping label and drop it off at the FedEx office. We almost always use two-day shipping or priority shipping to make sure USCIS receives the package sooner rather than later. We also share the FedEx tracking number and receipt notice with the client when they are available. And while the process may seem easy, um, sometimes we do have to adjust certain strategies or filing procedures based on what type of application you are submitting to USCIS. Um, before we end today's walkthrough, here are a couple of tips that our office follows and I, we think is very important and maybe you should follow yourself when you file your own petition. So the first thing and most important thing you should do is to bind your application. Um, most of the documents, the application and evidence you're submitting is going to be very um, big. So you won't be able to staple. What we do here in the office and what we suggest is that you um, hope, double hole punch the top of the documents and bind everything together. We like to use these um, fasteners that go in here in the little um, holes that you punch and you're able to keep everything together so that it does not get lost when it gets to um, the office and then subsequently uh, assigned to an officer. So once you've gathered your documents and your evidence and you're ready to bind them, like I just explained to you, um, you should put everything in order. The first thing that should go on top of all of the documents is a cover letter where you're explaining to the officer what is included in the package. Um, if you have an attorney, an attorney should always you know, submit their, their um, authorization or their G28 saying that they are the attorneys representing you. Um, if you don't have an attorney, obviously you will not be submitting this document with your um, uh, package. But after the cover letter, um, you should then uh, include the application and then following the application, all the evidence that substantiates or gives credibility to the application that you're submitting. So the third tip I have for you, um, prior to submitting your packet or putting your packet in an envelope and sealing the envelope, you should always double check, triple check, check it more than once, you know, essentially. Um, check it once, put it to the side, come back a couple minutes later with a clear mind, check it again to make sure that everything that you need to submit and everything that you plan to submit is part of the package. And number four, um, you should always use single-sided printing. Uh, I know we try to save paper sometime, you know, but uh, double-sided is not good to submit to USCIS. Always make sure that your documents are printed on single side. And finally, before you submit or you put your package in your envelope or in your box, make sure that you scanned it or at least made a photocopy of everything so that you can keep um, an exact copy of what you've mailed out so you know um, if something is missing or USCIS says something is missing, you know exactly what you sent. As always, thank you for watching and joining our video today. Um, if you have any questions and or you'd like to uh, schedule a consultation, you have our contact information next and you can uh, reach out to us.